Welcome to the assembly video for your Broil King gas grill. The following model numbers apply to this assembly. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Before getting started, you will need the help of a friend at several points during the assembly process. You will need the following tools to assemble your Broil King barbecue grill. A number 2 Robertson or Phillips screwdriver. Begin by unpacking the Imperial XL from the box. As you unpack the components, set them aside. These will be used throughout the assembly process. Note the three-piece carton makes it easy to access the base of the barbecue grill to begin assembly. Step 1. Install the casters using the 24 screws provided. Each caster uses four screws and there are six casters in total on the barbecue grill. Step 2. With the help of a friend, stand the barbecue grill upright by grasping the lid handle and the support on the back of the barbecue grill. Step 3. Install the left hand cabinet door by inserting the top pin first then the bottom. Step 4. Secure the cabinet door using the plastic clip on the upper door post. Step 5. Install the match light chains into the openings located on each side of the cookbox. Step 6. Install the right hand shelf by placing it over the pre-installed screws on the outside of the cookbox. Using two of the screws, attach the side shelf by securing the shelf through the cookbox. Install the rear screw first, then the front, ensuring that all screws are installed perfectly straight. Step 7. Install the side burner shelf the same way you installed the right hand shelf. Step 8. When the side burner shelf is secure, Attach the side burner hose and electrode. Start by passing both the igniter wire and the side burner hose through the opening on the side panel. Remove the horseshoe clip from the side burner hose and install it into the opening on the side burner. Now reinstall the horseshoe clip. Extend the side burner igniter wire and attach it to the side burner electrode. Step 9. Ensure that the heat shield below the burners is seated in place. It may have shifted during transport and delivery. Step 10. In the larger cookbox, begin by installing the flavor wave, then the stainless steel cooking grids. In the smaller cookbox, install the flavor wave, then the cast iron cooking grids. Now install the warming racks. The back post located on each side of the warming rack should rest in the cupped areas at the back of the cookbox. Install the batteries for both igniters at this point as well. Remove the igniter cap, install the battery and reinstall the igniter cap. Step 11. Install the grease trays and catch pans for each cookbox. There is an opening on both the left and right cabinet panels for access to each cookbox. Step 12. Extend the tank pull-out tray and set your propane tank in place. Now hook up the propane tank to your regulator and slide the tank tray back into place. Now install the tank retainer bracket in the front facing holes. This will keep your propane tank securely in place.
Step 13, install the rotisserie bracket. Install the bracket with two bolts from the outside of the casting facing in. Use the supplied wing nuts on the inside of the casting to secure the bracket in place. Now slide the rotisserie motor onto the bracket. Now install the rotisserie kit. Place the forks on the spit rod and secure. Place the collar on the spit rod with the set screws on the inside. Install the threaded collar on the threaded end of the spit rod. Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure it with the handle. Place a second collar on the spit rod with the set screw facing the inside. Install the assembled spit rod onto the barbecue grill with the open end going into the motor. Use your screwdriver to tighten both set screws. Now is a good time to look over your barbecue grill, ensuring that everything is secure and in place. From there, light your barbecue grill and leave it on medium-high for at least 20 minutes to burn off any residue from the manufacturing process. To season your cast iron grids, turn your barbecue grill to 400 degrees, then turn the burners off. Now coat with cooking oil using a basing brush or an oil mister. Then you're ready to grill. Now is a good time to register your barbecue grill. Please visit omcbbq.com and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.